Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Theo Vaughn's Brain Needs to Be Studied. This is featuring Joe Rogan and Bobby Lee. And if I haven't been saying this, <laughs> I don't know what I've been saying. This man's brain is a weird space. Uh, all right, I'm prepared to laugh until it hurts. Let's see what they have to say. And I think about that kind of stuff, like if a plane crashed, I already know I'm planned ahead, dude. I'd eat a Vietnamese guy. Why? Um, because it's easy, it's a starter move. If you attack somebody <laughs> bigger, if you eat somebody bigger in front of other people, it's gonna alarm people. You gotta eat a small person, so stature is important. I think if you gum down a Viet, people aren't gonna be that upset at you. Well, the, the you know? Vietnamese people are gonna be super upset. What are you talking about? No, somebody's okay. dad. Yeah, they're sacrifice. They're more <laughs> understanding of things, dude. Is this the character you're playing? No. <laughs> but if you eat a black, dude, you eat a black lady and her family's there, they're gonna be pissed. So you think a Vietnamese person will let you slide? I think that they'd be much more forgiving over a couple of day period. What is interesting is like Vietnam is one of the few places where um, Americans can go back to Vietnam and they don't seem to hold any grudge at all. Exhibit A. <laughs> Out of all of that, I want you to know, uh oh, I just like rubbed an eyelash into my eye <laughs> laughing. Out of all of that that he just said, what do you guess? What If you had to guess, stop the video right now and tell me what you think stuck out to me the most. What what impacted me the most? He said if I gum down a Viet, that's what stuck out to me. Oh my gosh. Guys, I'm having a eyelash versus contact war in my eye right now. Okay, I think I'm good. Gum down, I can't. I don't even know if I should have repeated that and I'm sorry if me repeating it was offensive. It is out of pure ignorance. But th these are the things that make me wonder about his brain. It's like, how, why are you just shortening these words like this? And what do you mean gum down? Do you not have teeth? You don't chew when you eat? Like, what do you mean gum down? Also, the whole logic of this entire conversation is so crazy to me. Because one, are you surviving this plane crash? Two, are you, maybe I'm losing context because I'm not in the room or I didn't obviously see the whole conversation but like did the plane happen to crash in vietnam where are you that there is a potential black lady on this plane you're on this plane and there's a vietnamese person on this plane for you to choose from as menu items like i just have so many questions as someone who thinks they have a logical brain listening to theo vaughn and his brain sound off in the comments joe is losing it as he should, because it's ridiculously funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, think about what music does do. Music literally changes the way your body feels like a drug. Like if you were a kid, okay, Serotonin. and you heard that Rocky song, mm -hmm. da, 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 you could run faster. Oh, you'll, you would get more fired up. You'd be able to do more push-ups or Punch more chin-ups. your chin -ups. fucking stepdad. <laughs> no, I'm saying you do it. You'd rather be blind or dickless. <laughs> If anyone has a stepdad that they don't love, they're laughing at this joke. Did I just laugh at this joke? Did I just, <laughs> I should, like maybe just told on myself a little bit. <laughs> Not that I don't, I have a stepdad I don't love, but you know, you have a stepdad like that maybe you don't have like the greatest relationship with. Like, you punch your stepdad. <laughs> anyway, y'all just learned something new about me. You're welcome. This is so funny. Or Punch more your chin fucking stepdad. <laughs> no, I'm saying you do it. You're rather oh, I added in the throat. Oh, I have. Do I have some trauma? Do I need to go see my therapist? Because I thought he said it in the throat. I have to hear it one more time. Da -da 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 you could run faster. Oh, you. You would get more fired up. You'd be able to do more push-ups or Punch more chin-ups. Punch your fucking stepdad. <laughs> no, I'm saying you do it. You'd rather be blind or dickless, dude. These days, probably dickless. I think I had a blind kid in my neighborhood when I was growing up, and uh. Actually, you know, this dude was deaf, actually. And and they beat him up for doing bad magic. Because he was always doing all of this and shit. And people thought he was doing magic with no tricks. And they fucking beat him. So, would you rather go to jail for one year or go to jail with a Rubik's Cube and you can leave when it's done? Oh, man. Oh, snap. Oh, that's a really good question. 
Also, if you're treating blind people like that, there's a special place for you. So, the, the, I don't know. Uh, this is a good one. Y'all, what would you do? I feel like I'm confident enough to beat the Rubik's Cube, but that doesn't mean I can actually do it. But a year? I could figure it out in less than a year. Come on, Theo. What's it going to be? Fuck, bro. A science one, huh? I would rather... I'd go to jail for a year. I think it'd be great. These days, relaxing. Get some reading done. No bills. You know, get in shape. You know. Maybe get beat up or raped. Though. Yeah, get some diverse friends. <laughs> okay. How, how long is it you do? A Rubik's Cube? I bet I could probably do it in a week. <laughs> but you want, but you want the year in jail. So you could get out yeah. in a week, but you'll take the year. Oh, dude, I'd love to have some time to just relax, honestly. And I'm a pretty simple man, as long as, yeah, if I'm in there. I heard the lights are on at night, though. That would be the part I, that would not do. I believe everything he just said. Also, the lights being on at night is a big thing for me, too. Because, like, I need pitch black darkness. Like, when the sun peeks through my blackout curtains, if that happens, I get so agitated. I hear him on that one. But, like, sir, jail is not a vacation. Well, at least not for everybody. Would you rather have everyone naked all the time or everyone clothed all the time? Mm, I'm okay pretty much with how things are, I think. <laughs> so I'll take clothes. It's a big question to ask and just assume somebody's going to change it based on that question. Right. Would you rather sit down with your parents and watch every sexual encounter you've had or watch your parents' sex tape when they conceived you? I don't know, man. My dad was 70 when I was born, so... What? I'd probably watch a tape, honestly, man. I think it would be cool. His dad was 70 when he was born. That reminds me of, um, do you guys know who Young, Young DC, Young Fly, Young, Young DC? DC Young Fly? Is that his name? I don't know. I just refer to him as DC because when you have a long name like that, I'm like, why? It's like all those things. You're young, you're fly, your name is DC, I guess. Anyway. He also had a father who was a lot older and he has all his siblings are a lot older. So he said he had a grand brother. <laughs> like his brother was old enough to be his grandfather. You don't think that's hilarious? I do. I think it's hilarious. Cool. It would almost be artistic. These days I would be looked at it more as art than it would be as something. My dad's from Nicaragua. So I want to do a special in Nicaragua. Yeah. His dad, dad is, from... is not Nicaraguan. I'm <laughs> uh <laughs> We might have to edit that out, dude, because Nick that's Rogwin? that time closer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go one more time, bro. I want to see how racist this ends. Oh up. wait, I feel like I probably did that too because I was like Nick Nicaraguan. I can't even say that word. Oh gosh, am I being offensive in this video? <laughs> I'm sorry, YouTube. Don't take this down. Uh, Nicaraguan. Whoa, Nicaraguan bro. is so hard to say. A couple of guys say. just shut up at the door, dude. <laughs> dude Relax, how do you bro. say it? You can't even speak on Kratom, can you? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. I'm drinking What's like that? Monster Energy drinks sometimes, which are like piss magnets. They're delicious, but they make you want to pee. Make you want to beat your wife, too, dude. I've seen a <laughs> lot of dudes drinking Monster <laughs> that you know they're going home to punch. <laughs> Jesus. It would stay there. I've told my Monster Energy drink story here on this channel. I ended up in the back of an ambulance drinking a monster for breakfast at like 16, 17 years old. Don't do it. All in a little baggy waterproof in case the fucking rain came. In case the floods came, in case yeah. it got biblical, yeah. you can still break out of fucking... Yeah, I still, in case Louisiana all over again, <laughs> yeah. I'm on a tire floating, waving at the airport. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, I'm here, cocksuckers. Dude, how great would that be? You're on the news, they're like showing you, and you're just down there doing coke, and they're fucking like waving at the helicopters. <laughs> Like, how many videos are there of the news during Katrina where there's just a bunch of brothers just blowing a fucking blunt and they fucking couldn't put it on? And just yelling up, you can't stop me, bitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was the first one that had to quit my job full time. So I kind of got like, I was like, guys, are we doing this? Because I got to give up on Giggle. Like, I had to quit Giggle. Everybody else was able to work What's both giggle? jobs. Q was still a fireman. Google? Sal still owned his, it was giggle? still bartender in the old. Well, let's say, menu. look, still a fireman is a unique term yeah. as well. I'm not saying, I love firemen, right? Yeah. Especially if there's a fire going on. <laughs> the, the number one person you want to see. Yeah. <laughs> but when there's not a fire, dude. <laughs> They're basically people that are training for the hot dog eating contest. That's exactly right. Yeah. Jake Paul right that here. That is so rude. Knocks out Tyron Woodley in the sixth round to win the rematch. Um, good. Woodley doesn't throw enough punches. 
you know, and the fight is just a lot of like punch, inner, you know, clutch or, you know, hug, punch, hug, punch, hug. Is that they should what lose like? a point if they hug. I they agree with that. They should lose a point if they hug. I agree with that. I don't, I don't watch many fights, but like the hugging thing is just like, what are you doing, bro? If you need to catch your breath, just say that. <laughs> or see who's willing to take it to second base. If you're hugging whoever, you know. Who's willing to, you know, Feel go good. even further a little? I love buffets, oh, bro. Yeah, buffets are great. Up, yeah, when I was growing up, they had finally got a buffet in our town, dude, and people were fucking <laughs> losing their mind. Right? Oh, dude, somebody shot out the windows, bro, from the inside, dude. <laughs> That's how excited people were. You know, I had breakfast with a guy a couple weeks ago, and he'd never masturbated, and I, just, I was just so jealous. Got into stand-up, and I always like making people laugh. Like, I used to do a yeah. similar thing when I was a child. At the lunch table, we'd get some... Kids who were mentals, or a couple of them might have been mentals, and a couple of kids that were well, you know. And we get there and sit them to make them drink milk, and then tell <laughs> jokes and do stuff, and tell one of them just blew milk out of their face, <laughs> you know. And if you get some straight up, just a couple mentals, boy, some straight up sawed off humans, you get them to do you. We've heard this this rendition before, but it's still just never not. <laughs> Makes me question what the heck is going on in this man's brain space. Jeez. You get him to first straight up blow leche out there, dumb dude. <laughs> That's America right there. Oh. That reminds me of when he called the baby who was breastfeeding a, what do you call him, a leche monster, leche bandit? <laughs> He was breastfeeding. He called him a leche bandit. I'm saying, <laughs> and that's when I knew I was oh, like, oh, man. I got some kind of a gift here, you know. I almost blew the throat out of this one boy. Oh, yeah, I almost threw the this Jesus. almost blew blew the throat out of this this one boy named Tot T O T was his name. <laughs> kind of a bad name too to be mentally challenged. Oh my Jesus! But also easy for him to spell, and. <laughs> I'm not joking. That's what his father said. And um, easy for him to spell backward and forward. Same name, Todd. That's a nickname because there's no way he came out at birth and they knew he had these issues and they named him that. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. <laughs> so, he can't pull it together. Uh, that's oh true, man. <laughs> was this guy's real? His name is Todd? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so laughing at him? It's just a funny sounding name. That's all. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it was yeah, pretty yeah, funny, I guess. Tot. Of, yeah, well, you know, let's tot. talk about Tot. Sometimes like, he would just say T O T uh, was his name, but I yeah. knew it was Tot. Yeah. He would try to spell it out, and, you know, like he was tricking me. Yeah. We did a bunch of mushrooms, and we didn't. Uh, oh, my God. I don't know. We weren't really in the race or anything. But at one point, we took over a. A table. Somebody had a table where they had all the cups of water. I remember this. Story. And we took it over right in the middle. And I'm just just flying on mushrooms at this point, dude. I'm you know, I'm looking, you know, the Lord's looking for me, you know, and I'm looking for him, you yeah, know, and we're yeah. gonna meet up that afternoon. But uh and people were running by in this race, you know, it's tens of thousands of people in this race. And when they get close, someone would would try to get the water and we'd be like, No, it's for Asian people only. <laughs> So you had so many people, and they're running. They have to keep going. There's t there's a huge flow of people. They can't argue or discuss right, it. Right, right. He'd be like, uh, "Oh, it's Asians only." And they're like, <laughs> and they just keep on like, passing out from dehydration yeah, yeah. a quarter mile down the road. All these Irish people <laughs> stacking up. up. Let me know in the comments what you would do if this happened to you. You're running a marathon, and this is happening. What do you do? What do you do? Do you just keep running? And like, like, what do you do? I feel like either way, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose the race, or you're gonna fall behind in the race because either you're gonna pass out from being dehydrated because they didn't give you water, or you're gonna like chuck something at somebody because you're like, give me the water. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Yeah, a quarter mile down the road, <laughs> all these Irish people Piled stacking up. up at the curb <laughs> at the next turn, just boom, yeah. boom. Why are they Asian people are so happy, Super bro. Hydrated. Oh, dude, I'll tell you this. So. Somebody got a CB radio bus, you know? So this one lady that used to do substitute teaching, right? Her son was had like a, his mouth was always real slippery. He had like a, kind of a salivary deal. Disorder. 
I wouldn't say disorder. Salivary <laughs> deal. But he had like a... It's, it's a deal. He was missing a gasket on one of the edges. <laughs> I would say that. Just leaking. <laughs> Yeah, definitely, yeah. Like, you wouldn't fucking, if he leaned his head to one side, dude, you're going to have to dry him up, you know? So this fella one time named Michael was his name. Oh, my God. And he, He's uh, so serious. Oh, yeah. and everyone's then, when I was under the influence, mm -hmm. I couldn't see it. Now I can really see it. Dude, everybody, my buddy, buzz this cut. one dude used to put his, he would start to get a little, do a little dust, you know? Put, start touching his asshole, bro. By the end of the night, if we had a couple of bags, he'd have four fingers in his fucking ass, dude. He had like a... You know that some of those people eat their hair. You see those videos where people eat their hair. You know, he just had like a weird tick like that where he would just. Tick? We're calling that a. I don't tick? know what it was. He just like would, under the pants. He would go in the pants. We are calling that a tick under the pants. How? What's gonna have blue jeans and four fingers up there? Like, what are we talking about? I. Is this town that Theo Vaughn grew up in shut down? Has it just been annihilated? There's no way it's still standing. There's no way. And? Oh, in his ass, in his own ass. I want to be honest with you. I want to be honest. The other day I saw Please a guy don't. in a uh, <laughs> leather jacket at a Mexican restaurant. If you wear a leather jacket at a Mexican restaurant, well, you can just stay away from me. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you can stay away from me. From me. You can stay away. <laughs> Second from camera me. view. Yeah. Never happened. Really? Why? Mm -hmm. You've never masturbated? No. Oh my gosh, brother. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this the kid who earlier he said he was jealous of? Imagine your hometown, like the most famous person coming from your hometown being Theo. Imagine that. Imagine it. Just close your eyes and imagine it. How would you feel? Oh my gosh. He's wow, man! What is that dude. called? Is that what do you guys call that? What is that called? Nothing really. There's got to be a special nickname. I think in gay culture, if it's a man in gay culture, a guy that's never kissed a woman is called a golden Oreo. Mm. What? So I wonder what that is. Oh, in gay culture, so a gay guy who's never kissed a girl, he just his first kiss was a guy. Okay, got it. Okay. Sorry, that took me a second to process. I was very confused. Woman is called a golden Oreo. Mm. So I wonder what that is. My God, brother. And I don't care about the French, thing. dude. Wow, but have you been there or are you just I've like, been there. prejudiced? I'm probably prejudiced too. Have you been to France? Yeah. Have you been to Montreal? I've been to Montreal, yeah. You didn't love the French? I love the Canadians. French Canadians? Yeah, I'll take them. You love Canadians, period. I love Canadians, period. But do you love French Canadians? Yes. Because they are Canadian, but French, mm. bro. Not into French? I, and nobody is. They make great wine. Yeah. That's not true. People nobody go to Paris every year. Yeah, but they leave. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the kind of place people are milling around, man. <laughs> are, you, yeah, are, man. You a, are you are you a porno? I've been to Paris. I've been to Paris twice for extended vacations, and my very best friend lived there for over a year. I don't feel that way. I mean, I do think the people are, they're like New Yorkers. Like, they just don't, they mind their business. They're not going out of their way to be super friendly and polite. But that doesn't, like, that's it. You know what I mean? There could be some um, stronger deodorant, maybe. But I have nothing bad to say. Well, did I just say bad things? I love France. Well, I'm just going to say Paris because I've only ever been to Paris. I haven't, like, explored France. <laughs> I hate when people are, like say stuff like that, like, I love, and it's like, you've only been to one part. Relax, all right? You're from Long Island. You know nothing about Brooklyn, that kind of thing. <laughs> okay, you watch like Red Tube or whatever oh, the fuck it, these days? I've been out there, man. I've been in the, it's nasty out there. <laughs> it is nasty. It's it? nasty, dude. I was just <laughs> talking about this on my podcast. It's nasty. Some of these videos and people doing all these butt activities and everything and <laughs> butt activities you know what the thing is they though, are like you just gotta it's constantly escalating like yeah. everyone's trying one to one shoe. up each other in the porn industry. i don't want to be in it they anymore. are aren't they it's just too they much sure are. i don't need seven guys. no yeah. what happened just one-on-one -on -one? it's on why, why does there have to be a gangbang every time yeah yeah and it's so rough like whack-a-mole so... too if you see some of those gangbangs <laughs> oh dude that God. shit gets to it's like urban whack-a-mole on really some of them. <laughs> and Andrew Santino has the best joke. He talks about how a lot of black gentlemen always have their sneakers on during uh, <laughs> pornography. <laughs>
<laughs> and socks. That's aggressive. I dude. never I, thought of that. Why shit. do they? For grip, you really rail at home? Grip and probably Bro. athlete's foot is rampant. And also, I, mean, I don't know who the fuck been on this carpet. Or this it sport. goes back Let's to see. indoor, outdoor. Like, those are kind of outdoor <laughs> shoes. Yeah. And they have them on indoors. <laughs> Full circle with Theo Vaughn. Uh, black people so don't serious. really know, they don't differentiate between indoors and outdoors. <laughs> What do you mean? Outdoors can be indoors, dude. What do you mean? Outdoors can be indoors. Black person, you can put them outdoors, and you put them indoors. Same volume levels, same speed. There's no inside voice. There's same no. There's speed. zero inside. There's voice. no etiquette when you go indoors. Well, they just don't. I don't. I don't think they believe in like a lot of structures and. I don't know. I don't want to say woodwork, but I want to say overall that they the difference between indoors and outdoors when it comes to it's most. So black incredibly, people, it's so incredibly vaguely racist. It's so like, funny, Yvonne up in the house. If it made sense, I feel like I could be like, what? And offended, but it made no sense. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I will say, as a black person, when we when we get together, when we when we when we gather, you know, say brunch, say a, a function, you know, we we can get loud. And then it really doesn't matter where we are. We don't care if we're in a restaurant, we don't care if we're outside. If we're having a good time, baby, we're having a good time. So, all right. All right, Theo. But I just like the... All right. I'll give it to him. You know what? I'll give it to him. I'm going to give him that. House. Gucci gang, son. Gucci gang. Gucci gang. Even text Gucci gang. Good to be out here, dude. <laughs> it's it's been, good to be here, man. This is the gayest little microphone. It feels like a... <laughs> it's all up in your grill. Oh, it feels like a like a, like a the weakest one-armed black kid is trying to give me a hug. <laughs> That's what it feels like, dude. Like, if you go like this. Go black skill. So, like, whoa. Somebody feed this boy and then bring him back to the hug ring, you know? Because he ain't ready for fucking real two arms. This dude ain't ready hugging with one arm. Dude, I remember being at the library when I was young, and this is back when they had um, books, you know? What do they have now? I mean, I, don't, I, mean, I don't really fucking know. Our library's still open. Who's in there? Just people trying to finger each other. <laughs> Back when libraries had books, I'm with Joe. So what do they have now? What are, what's in a library now? There are more resources, but there are still books. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in a fucking library? <laughs> the Dutch are so aerodynamic. They move good? Aerodynamic. No, you ever seen a Dutch? They're really aerodynamic. They're... The what? What are you doing with your hands? Lean face. <laughs> lean headed. <laughs> no, they're not. Lean Four inches headed. cheek to cheek. They're big people, man. Dude. Do you know how big they are? The Dutch, oh, they're very tall, but yeah. they're very aerodynamic, very... Aerodynamic. The downhill people, they call them, dude. <laughs> Look at... Pull up a duck. I tried the ketamine. Um, oh, you do the nasal spray? No, I did the... Shoot them up. Oh, did you really? Did you do the IV? Yeah. You went IV. to a doctor? Six sessions, yeah. With a therapist in the room. Did you trip balls? Bro, I thought. <laughs> is it a legal drug? What is ketamine? I just, he makes me feel like a little prude, sheltered little girl. <laughs> what is, what, he said it was administered and there was a therapist. What is ketamine and why are you doing six sessions of it? What? <laughs> Joe. Talk to me. Dude, there was a moment, no joke, where I thought it was a tonsil. There was a time where I thought it was a tonsil. I was sleeping under a buddy of mine had a bed, he and I was sleeping under his bed for one hundred fifty dollars a month. Oh wow! And sometimes even in his bed, sometimes <sighs> when he would be out of town or when he would leave for work, I'd climb up into his bed, dude. And I've never been heavily homosexual, but I will say this: heavily? that there's nothing really gayer than getting into a man's warmth after he's already left the room, you know, and climbing up into his bed. <laughs> A man you don't even really know that much, but still catching that hit off of his temperature, you know? Hit? That's funny. It's true, man. Yeah. You go over to somebody's house, dude, you don't know that much. Yeah. When they leave the room and get the get, get out of their bed, you get into their bed. That should make you a, never told them that, though. That should make a man out of yeah. you fast, dude, or it won't. I never called him dad. From the age of five to ten, we lived together. It was, it was dark. He always looked at me like he, like if he could, yeah. like if he could, he would just, <laughs> he would fucking murder me, man. But you were probably ready to take him on it too, were you? No. We're talking about stepdad. Are we talking about we're, I, we're talking about a stepdad? Circling back, to 
throat. I was terrified. Really? I tried to commit suicide. Oh. I tried to uh, OD on a bottle of Theragran M. You know, what is vitamins. that? Vitamins. vitamins? Yeah, I tried to OD on oh. vitamins. When and would you get just better? I remember this. I just Jeez. fell asleep. Damn, damn, no. <laughs> Would you, you get, get better? better? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just thinking like vitamins. It seemed like there was a lot of rumors in my town that I beat down syndrome. <laughs> really? Yeah. This town has got to be closed down. There were a lot of rumors in his town that he beat down syndrome. He beat it, meaning he should have caught it or he had it and he <laughs> recovered from it as if it were a curable. This man is insane. Well, there's a lot of rumors in my town that I beat down syndrome. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, that's inspiring, man. <laughs> that's how I felt when I heard him, because I didn't start him. Dude, you look like you, you're like the dude who, if everybody was escaping prison, you'd be like, nah, I gotta, I gotta be up in the morning for breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Like you'd be the dude that's like, doesn't get that everybody's fucking getting out. You know? <laughs> Oh, okay, oh, guy. Oh, okay. Have fun in here. <laughs> okay, yeah. We're just... All right, See, so no, fun, I took that bag of mushrooms to that moments. party, right. and a bunch of people ate them who'd never had them before. Uh oh. And then we played a game of hide and go seek. Right? I was like, Oh no, oh, dude, <laughs> you hide in another dimension. I was like, <laughs> I'll count. You guys go hide, right? Oh no. And I never went to fucking look for them. <laughs> <laughs> that was the end of that, bro. I never seen one dude. This boy Timothy, I never seen that dude again. Uh, yeah, man, I'm from the South. Anybody else from the South? <laughs> Heck yeah. Second place. He's got his like frat boy haircut. He's so much younger. How old is Theo Vaughn? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna place him around like my age, like mid thirties. In the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> Runner up. <laughs> and let me just tell you, I'm very happy about that. <laughs> and we're ready. We're ready because, for the rematch. Yeah, because if you come in first place, I wouldn't be sitting here. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, can I get your bag? <laughs> No, what, what was that Who like? Who was this guy? Oh, my dad was old. Byron my dad was uh, 70 years old when, uh, when I was born. Wow. Um, <laughs> Is that right? Thank you for laughing at my daddy. Uh, yeah. That's right. He really was. Uh, which... My mom was 32, which basically makes me a product of, uh, of loose skin and loose morals. <laughs> uh, 40 years apart. Here. Yeah. Uh, but it was cool, though. Like, the quality time we would spend, like, after, uh, after I was born, uh, my dad had a stroke. Uh, so we were both learning to walk at the same time. <laughs> we'd, have, like, we'd have, like, little races for cookies, you know? And, uh, and uh, we... Yeah. We play games Yo. like catch or don't. Or don't. <laughs> and, uh, and my favorite is dad sleeping or is he no longer with us? <laughs> uh, so what kind of girls do you like? Okay. <sighs> Let me know when we get that brain scan. We get proof that there's not some type of CTE or something because this guy is off the rails off the rails he's off the rails oh, but I love him it's like a train wreck you can't keep your eyes off of it is just great anyway I've enjoyed diving into uh, Servon here let me know if there's anything else I've missed and uh, go and have the day you deserve peace